I just want to start by offering the condolences of the UCLA football program to the University of Arizona who suffered a tremendous loss and the family of the young man who, uh, who passed last night. Uh, we've been through that here and uh, we know what it's like. And uh, like I said, our, heart, our, our thoughts and prayers and our hearts are with the University of Arizona and, and Rich Rod and with the, the young man's family. It's, uh, it's just horrible. And uh, just if there's anything we can do for them, we will certainly, we will cer certainly be here to support them. So um, beyond that, it was, um, it's a great to get back out on the field and compete. It's, uh, it's fun to see the young guys out here, the guys we haven't gotten a chance to really see play football since high school, compete against, you know, major college talent. And I thought I, a lot of the young guys uh, for the first practice showed well. We'll see how they continue to develop. It's great to have Eddie Vanderdose back out here and Fabian back out here and Mossy Johnson, you know, the competitiveness that those guys bring. Um, and I thought it was a fairly crisp practice for our first, first practice, much different than our first practice of the spring. And so, I like the attitude. Um, I love the direction we're headed. Uh, there's a real sense of esprit de corps amongst these guys. Very competitive and yet, and yet cooperative at the same time. And so I think that uh, you know, after one day, I can say that I'm pleased. And uh, hopefully, I can say that after every day. But uh, I like the way we started. So we're off and running. You guys have the quarterback name here to uh, help. Excuse me. Having the quarterback name. I think having certainty at that position is a big help for us. Yeah. You know, um, it allows, I think, everyone to settle down a little bit. Um, and what you're going to see now is you're going to see competition for that backup position. You know, I thought, uh, you know, Mike looked good. And then I was really, really impressed with Modster. He made some great throws. The game doesn't look too big for him. Now, once again, I want to temper that by saying it's the first day. I thought Matt Lynch did some good things as well. So um, there's some good players there that are fighting for that backup spot. So it'll be fun to watch that competition. It's all based on NCAA rules, so we can only open a certain amount of days before our first game. And uh, because USC, if you're talking about, is a, yeah. is, a, is a semester school rather than a quarter school, they start school earlier than us, so they can start practice earlier than us. But we all are allowed the same amount of practices going into the first game. This was actually the first day that we were allowed by NCAA rule to start. Is Cordell Brodus no longer with the program? Cordell is no longer with the program. He's going to pursue other passions in his life, and we encourage that. And I, I appreciate the fact that he came back out this spring and gave it another shot. But uh, this is a, an incredibly talented young man in so many areas. And, you know, it'll be fun to watch what he does with his life. You know, we haven't heard the last from him, probably just here in the start. But Eddie and some of those guys that were living in the spring, are you taking it slow with them, or are they kind of up to speed at this point? We have to monitor them. You know, we want to get them full speed, full speed reps. But how many reps is going to be key, you know? Um, I mean, they're still working their way back in, you know? And, and Fabian's is a little bit different than, say, a Mossy or an Eddie where they blew out their knee. You know, he had the Liz Frank injury, so the bone heals. But, you know, with the joints, we want to be, we just want to be prudent in, in making sure that we're doing the right things to get them through camp and get them the work they need and, and make sure they're sharp going into the A&M game. Was anybody we had, um, well, Paco Perez wasn't with us, and he won't be with us for a few days. He had a meniscus repair when he first got on campus. You know, some of these guys come from, from high school. We find things when they get with our doctors and we have to repair them. So he had a meniscus repair, but uh, it won't be long before he's back out there. Marcus Moore uh, came in with a, a back issue, so we're, we're managing that. I'm not sure how much he'll do these first two or three weeks of camp, but eventually he will be. He is at camp. He's part of the 105. We want him here in the meetings, learning, participating, but you won't see him on the field at least for a week or so. Jim, what was it like opening camp? Dimitri Fulton? Sorry. Go ahead, Jim. Well, it felt, you guys remember, he hurt his shoulder and had surgery during the spring. So he's out for the year. You know, maybe late in the year he gets to do some things, but he's essentially out for the year. Johnny was full go, yeah. And you know what? I don't even think he had a, knee, uh, a shoulder sleeve on, and he, and he looked good today. So, you know, the key is to keep him healthy. What was it like opening camp here today instead of Stanford and Duval? Very, very different. And, you know, it really kind of started yesterday. Uh, we love going to San Bernardino. It served us very, very well. It's a great place for us. But uh, walking into the new Luskin Center, I think the guys were very pleased. It's a little bit different than, than college dorms. You know, it's a beautiful new hotel on campus here. Um, 
and just the proximity of the practice field, the meeting rooms, and our, and our housing is, is really convenient for us. So we'll be here for a week and then we'll go up to San Bernardino for six days and have nine practices and really grind it out and then we'll come back here. But I, it's a different energy, a different atmosphere, and um, I'm very pleased with it. By different, is it a good difference? I think it's a good difference. I mean that in a very positive way, yeah. I think it's good for us. I really do. You talked about Eddie coming back. What does his return just mean to your defense and, uh, and the, the stuff on the wall? Well, he gives us a, vet, a veteran presence. He's an outstanding player. He's been an outstanding player. He gives us another big body. You know, he's a, you know, you got Ely and he now are, are both around 320, you know, and they're big shouldered, wide bodied guys, which we need. Um, and so, uh, and, he, and he's active and he's competitive and he's got a great attitude and a great energy about him. And he's just a really good football player that, that we missed and it's great to have him back out here. Same with, you know, Fabian and, and all those guys. Well, you can evaluate things like attitude and work ethic and work habits, and um, you know, are they are they selfless, team-oriented guys? You know, do they take direction well. You know, they've had a whole summer program out here, and and what's their effort going to be like? And can they focus in and learn from day to day? But you know, you need to see them take those things and transfer them to the football field, the practice field, and build on it. Um, today was as good a first practice as. I don't want to overstate it, which I'm prone to do at times, but it seemed like it was about as good a first day of practice as we've had since I've been here that I can remember. Can you chalk that up to anything specifically? Or um, that? Well, we had a great spring, first of all. I think, you know, like just having the, the, the quarterback coming back, you know, having the core of our defense coming back, I think that helps us. Um, and they're just, they're more confident and relaxed that, you know, they understand the schemes better. They understand our tempo and how we want to do things better. How much of a go-to guy do you think Ishmael will be in the Denver receiving core? I, I think that he could be a great threat for us, a tremendous weapon. Uh, he's tough. He's, he's, uh, he's explosive and dynamic with the ball in his hands. You can put him in a lot of different spots. You know, We foresee Ish being able to line up in the slot, line up outside, motion into the backfield, motion out of the backfield, line up in the backfield. Um, you know, we, we're going to have a package for him that, you know, tries to utilize all of his talents. But, and I like the fact that he brings um, a competitive defensive mindset to our offense when it comes to blocking and taking hits and delivering blows and things like that. So I think he's going to be a great weapon for us. When Tawa runs over Ridley on the edge, is that a good <laughs> Riley? sign? That, yeah, yeah. That, that the physical edge <laughs> well, you've been wanting is, is coming in? Well, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see, uh, you know, collisions when we don't have pads on but uh, and I don't think I knew meant to run him over I think he got on track and he maybe couldn't get off track at 294 you know but uh, I know the team enjoyed it it's a great learning opportunity for Keon you know first of all Mossy blocked him down the field pretty well so he has to learn how to separate from a block it showed us Mossy's back with his tenacious self and then if you remember there's a play like that in spring with I knew when he ran over somebody down the field so you know, if you keep seeing those types of things out of a guy like Ina, you go, well, maybe we'll throw him the ball in the flat. And let him turn it up and see if a 180-pound corner wants to tackle a 294-pounder. Now, I'm sure they'll take him low, so he has to, you know, learn how to hurdle. But he can, he can do that. What? Well, uh, Akeem is a UCLA grad, and uh, the Rams are back in L.A., and there's just a synergy there, you know, helping kids in our community. And so it just made made sense. And Keem's just a wonderful person. And it's great to have him back in L.A. and have the Rams back in L.A. I got a chance to go watch the Rams practice uh, last Friday, I believe it was. It was fun to get back out and it got my juices going again for this. You've had synergy with the alumni there. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, excited about it. Did you get a chance to see that uh, you're on the cover of, Josh is on the cover of Sports Illustrated. No, yeah, yeah. I heard, but I, I haven't seen it. I, I've kind of been sequestered the last few days. You know, we come in here and we get to work and there's not a lot of outside influence, but we'll, we'll get a chance to look at it, so. All right, thanks, guys. All right, Thank thanks, you. everybody.